Hi, Heidi Thorne. Here we have a special guest today at uh, Promo with Purpose today. And this is Bailey. He's our um, one of our family members. Uh, he's not a staff member here, but he is uh, just visiting us briefly so he can introduce a discussion on pet promotions. Well, I'll let you go play. Go play. Hi again, Heidi Thorne, and today we're going to talk about pet promotions. Uh, there are some really important rules you need to be aware of when you are doing pet promotions, and we'll talk about a number of them in today's video. One of the first ones, and this is really tempting for a lot of people, they use like stress balls, they think it's like a, a dog toy. It is not. It is one of the most dangerous things you can give to a dog. So please, no stress balls when it comes to pet promotions. They can chew off little bits and pieces of it, and they could actually ingest the whole stress ball, and you probably wouldn't even know it, because they can do it in, in just little tiny pieces. So that we could get stuck in their digestive tract, or they could choke. So no stress balls for pet promotions ever. Uh, another promotion that um, a lot of people use are bandanas, which are great for events like uh, dog walks. Um, and the only problem that I see with that is that you need to know uh, how many large dogs and how many small dogs you're going to have so everyone can get one. So it's more of a cost issue. Um, and also you want to encourage people that this is not a dog toy. Most people are aware of that, but you know, you want to kind of make sure that uh, they, they know it's not a toy. And I have a story about uh, that in terms of uh, cloth. Um, in fact, that's the reason why Bailey is even here with us. He was uh, brought into our local shelter as a stray. <laughs> he decided to... Uh, you know, let us know the UPS guy was there. Uh, but he was brought into the shelter as a stray, and he had ingested a piece of cloth. And it got stuck in his colon. Um, the, you know, the vet ruled out it wasn't any other diseases or anything that would cause that digestion uh, problem. Uh, but they found it in his colon. Emergency surgery uh, later, you know, and he was good you know to play around and walk around in the first couple days uh, but the actual recovery of his digestive tract took months months on end of special diets and you know getting up in the night and it was just a, a massive amount of care so you want to make sure that you uh, do not give a promotion that will cause um, your recipients to have a pet emergency uh, one of the other things that people do with uh, pet promotions uh, that I see is they throw both the uh, human promotions and the pet promotions in the same bag for an event. That might be convenient for the association or the show producer or the event producer, uh, but it is not for the pet owner. Uh, when they receive these bags, they're going to presume that everything in there is for the dog or for use with the dog. So let's say you have some cookies in there, they're going to presume that it's for the dog. So I, I don't, again, want to see anyone have a pet emergency. So what I would suggest is having two event bags, you know, one for the dog or cat or whatever uh, pets you're featuring, and then one for the human goodies so that they can keep them separated. So there are other pr pet promotions out there um, that I would suggest because they are for the pet owner. The dog is never going to buy from you. No matter how much you love the dog, uh, they will never buy from you. So you certainly want to uh, be promoting to the owner. So items that are built for pet owner convenience, such as uh, scoops and dishes and buckets and you know all kinds of things like that, that are really convenience items for the owner, are, are very, very popular and well received. So again, um, I am Heidi Thorne for Promo with Purpose today, and just be careful with your pet promotions.